could you be doing nothing else better than praising and worship king lamb this morning this afternoon amen amen so glad you're here in the house of the lord we're glad to have you welcome each and every one of you i think we have a good a good majority of guests can we all hear you say a great hallelujah this evening hallelujah. welcome sister mary welcome if there's any other pastors i don't know right now or haven't seen welcome sister francis. sister francis where are you raise your hand over here on this side god bless you sister we appreciate the effort that you all have made to come through and i know it's not just to see brother clock but it's to hear the word that almighty god has given to the brother to speak out in this late and dying age is hope there is a hope there is an eternal life and there is a heaven and there is a god god is not dead he is alive i believe that's why you all know and are here this evening this evening we're just going to worship a little bit with sister martha and sister pam and uh you know we'll just have a good time are we here to have a good time in the things of the lord amen well let's ask him to be our honored guest. Can we all do that this evening? Pray with me, would you? Our precious Heavenly Father, Lord, we are so thankful, Lord, for the things you've done this morning. We're so thankful for the things you did in last night's prayer meeting. Father, but we came back asking more of you this evening. Lord, that you would allow us to open the doors this Sunday evening. Lord, to come and worship you, Father. Father, I ask, Lord, that you would come down in a mighty way. Bless each and every one that has come here hungering for your word, hungering for something, Lord. May each person not turn away empty-handed, Lord, but they can say, wasn't it good to be in the house of the Lord and be blessed by the Holy Spirit? Father, if you would just come down, make your way among each and every one, May the hearts be open, the ears be open. Father, have your way in this place this evening. I ask it, bless our special speaker, bless our pastor, bless our musicians, Father. Lord, bless the worship, Lord. Father, we only come, Lord, because we want to see you. One day when you come for us, Father, we want to see you. That is our goal, Lord. Show us and teach us how to clean our lives in such a way, Lord, that it would be acceptable to you. That we'd have white robes on, Lord. Lord, not just on a Sunday or on a Wednesday, Lord, but seven days a week, Lord. May we live this word you've given us. May it be quickened into our hearts, Lord. No pretense, nothing, Lord, but you, Father. We ask it, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for being with us. Come and be with us, Father. We ask these things in your precious, the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we all said together, amen. amen, amen. Sister Martha, can we start off with that first song? Glory Land Way. Amen. Brother Chris said he wanted some old-time Pentecostal songs, and these are some of them. We're going to have three, and I think Brother Josh has a... Uh, one, two, and we're just going to worship the Lord. Uh, 
We don't think that we do anything better than anyone else, but we want to do this for the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm in the way, the bright and shiny way. I'm in the glory land way. Tell that old world that Jesus saves today. Yes, I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is pure and the way grows and clearer.
this song. I don't do this song too well. But you know what? It ain't about me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the little woman, she brought all the vessels in. Hallelujah. And what did the Lord do? Fill one or two? No, he filled them all. Hallelujah. Bring your vessels, not a few. Well, are you looking for the fullness of the blessing of the Lord in your heart and life today? Claim the promise of your Father, come according to His word, and the blessing of all time way. And if you fill your heart today to overflowing, as the Lord commanded you, bring your ashes out of you. It will fill your heart today to your vessels this evening are you expecting them to be to overflowing hallelujah bring your vessels amen not a dirty one clean it out bring your vessels you don't want to you don't want to have anything infiltrate amen you want it to be a clean vessel thank you lord 
Hallelujah. I don't believe they picked up just any vessel that they could find. They made sure it was clean and ready and prepared. That's what worship's all about. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your vessels so that he can fill it. Amen. Hallelujah. Just such a sweet presence here in the church this evening. I wonder if we could all just take our seats for a moment. So we don't have announcements because I'm not going to go through all that. It's more for the home folks anyhow. But um, if anybody wants, doesn't have a home church and they want to know what goes on here during the week, we have bulletins at the back door. We have some up here, I believe, still. Pick one up. If uh, the Lord moves you to continue on this road, you're always welcome here. So, and like I said, that's for people that don't have home churches. I'm not proselyting anyone, so don't get, don't get nervous. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that's Christian like to pull from other churches. We are here to save, look for the lost so he can save them. Not people in other churches that are seated in other places. We don't, we don't do that. But we're here to go out into the streets, into the highways and byways. Amen. So that is the purpose of having special meetings, evangelistic meetings. If your toes get stepped on, that's the job of evangelism. It's here to clean house. This morning we heard our brother Chris was preaching on getting ready, not pretending to be ready for the Lord's coming. I believe that is a, such a timely message of restoration. We need to be completely restored. As I opened prayer this morning, I mentioned he had to lose something to save. He had to sacrifice his son. That his son would shed his blood on Calvary so you could be saved. So you could be redeemed. How many are a blood-bought Christian this morning? A son and daughter of God. Hallelujah! Woo! Just the hands in the buildings. Just, even if it's just this group. It makes me excited. So this evening, we're going to take a, a special offering up this evening. Gas and tires are not free anywhere. Oil changes that I know of. If you do know of, please let us know. We would enjoy the blessing. Yes. But until then, we need a workman is, hire, is worthy of his hire. So we need to cover, help Brother Chris cover the cost of his labor of love this evening. So we could receive an evening offering. We'll go to Brother Chris this evening. Amen. So as you prepare your hearts and what the Lord will have you to give. You know, I just want to do that song, just God is so good. Yes. What key would you like to Uh G is fine. Can you all sing that this evening as we get ready to do this? God is so good. Is he not good to you? stop praising him. Just give him a hand of praise. Give him a shout. Say hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your goodness, for your mercy, for your grace. Hallelujah. Brother Andrew, if you would take this microphone and ask the blessing over the offering this evening. Thank you, Father God, for this evening. Father God, I pray that you would bless us as we give and bless what we're giving to. 
according to your will. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. So let's go back to that song. Um, everybody be happy over there. Let's do that for the offering this evening. Everybody will be happy. for this opportunity to live for Jesus in spite of Satan and the imps of hell and anything else and getting the flesh crucified so we can do what he's called us to. So good to be here in the Lord's house with, with many of you that are visitors. We're so grateful for the Lord sending you. Thank you, home folks. Glad you could be back this evening. And uh, we are in for another song, I understand. Is that right? Brother Ron, are you willing to sing? Not, is it Brother Ron? I thought it was Sister Pam. Okay. You may be seated. While we get our wires uncrossed. Well, well, if what is somebody better do something or I'll sing. You know what? Let's, let's just have Brother Chris come. And it, I'm going to pass you to introduce him, but um, if you don't mind, just go ahead and sing the song. I, you know what? Let's do that. You know what? We're going to do this one. I know everyone should know this one. It's about greater than anything in the world. Well, greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Let's think about this. Well, Satan's like a roaring lion, oh, going to and fro. Give him a black guy. i 
that's in the world, give him a hand of praise. Thank Shout you, Lord. glory, hallelujah this evening. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, this is a time for getting renewed. Amen. It's what revival means. Getting revived, getting refreshed, getting a new vision, reaching the lost for Jesus Christ. Let's be active, church. All right. Okay, Brother Chris, come on up. Is there anybody here that's never seen Brother Chris before? Well, he's been there over there a while, quite a while. Uh, but you're going to get to see him right here now. now. This brother has blessed us so many times. Even when we was over at that little country church I was telling you about, he'd show up out there and preach and people would come and get saved. And we, we've had revival with Brother Chris for many, many years. I love this brother. Appreciate him and his ministry, his willingness to go anywhere. The Lord's called him to go, and what a blessing he is. Brother Chris, God bless you. We'll give the Lord a cloud party tonight, amen. Let's sing that again. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. On the day of Pentecost, a rushing mighty wind oh, it flew into the upper room to baptize all of them with a power greater than any earthly foe. Well, I'm so glad I've got it too. Oh, let the stand on your feet and sing it out. Stand on your feet. Is in me. There we go. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. How many of you believe that God is greater in you than he that is in the world? Uh, let me say that again. What church you all y'all from? Here, you're from here. All right. These are your children. You look like you're so young looking. I don't praise the Lord. And then we have those from Trinity. Pentecostal Church. Praise the Lord. Sister Mary over here. Sister Alvarez over here. I've known them for many. I've known everybody in this place for a long time. Praise the Lord. How many of you know that you are you and I? Hey, Brother Hurry, good to see you back there. Haven't seen you for a while. How many of you know that God is a mighty God and He's greater than every power of hell tonight? Now, if you've never been in a pen, this is what you call a Pentecostal church. So we get loud, we lift, we clap our hands, we lift up our hands, and we shout the victory, and we're not ashamed of it. How many of you tonight are glad you're saved tonight? Let's see that again. On the day of Pentecost, a rushing mighty wind flew into the upper. Can you get that up there, brother? I'll tell you what, let's start with the chorus, and then we'll go to the verse. Okay, that'd be good for you. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Than he that is in me. Put your hands together now and sing it. Well, greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Than he that is in the world. Now the verse. On the day of Pentecost, a rushing mighty wind blew into the upper room and baptized all of them. Glory to God with a power greater than in the earthly foe. I'm so glad I've got it too. I'm going to let the whole world go. Well, now Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Than he that is in me. One more time. Well now greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Than he that is in the world. Well, 
give the Lord a shout of praise tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated this evening. Just the musicians, I'm going to have a couple testimonies tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of you believe in testimonies? This young lady, she came to the revival I did about a month ago. Has it been, I guess, a month at the River Church here in Tucson? And you came with a mass on your pancreas, your bladder. And, and what has happened? It disappeared. It disappeared. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And what else did the Lord do for you? I started talking, talking in tongues. Yes. And I had a kidney stone, and yes. he broke it up so they could take it out. Praise the Lord. Praise she received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. She had a kidney stone. The Lord broke that up, and they took it out. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. How, how many know that God is a mighty God today? Yes. Brother Mario, come up here right now, if you would. We pray for this. I've known, how many years have I known you, Mario? 30 years? He's lost some weight since the last time I saw him. I don't know what your, I don't know what your secret. How old are you now? I'm 46. 46. And he was in a car accident. Uh, how long ago has that been? January 20th. And it broke your neck? So tell the, tell the folks what the Lord did for you this morning. Well, on January 20th, I had a car accident where I was expelled from the vehicle. I hit a pulse with my body. I hit so hard that it threw me back in my car. Broke my ribs. Uh, Punctured lung, broken wrist, lacerated foot, and I broke my C4 on my neck. Uh, I was in constant pain. And uh, when I went back to the doctor about two weeks ago, he said I would need surgery uh, to fuse my, uh, my, disc, my disc, my third, fourth, and fifth, uh, the disc together. And uh, to be honest with you folks, I had peace. I had peace in my heart about it. I wasn't worried. Yes, humanly, we think sometimes you, have, you get concerns, but this morning I came with... Uh, an expectancy, holding God to his word. You know, many times we, have, we believe God and we try to hold him to his promises, but many times we want him to do his part and we don't do ours. You know, that comes with, with, with the part that we need to do that we believe. And, and if, we, if we serve God and we believe in faith, God will do his part. And so I came expecting, brother, that God was going to heal me. I was in constant pain. My mother and my brother have been with me. I've been out. I couldn't put my socks on. And, and they would do everything for me. But this morning when, I, when the brother prayed and we were praying, uh, I felt... I don't know if any of you have ever been in, in, in the hospital when they put morphine in your, in your IV. You get, you get this weird feeling that just comes down your, 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 your shoulders. And as I was standing here by myself, that they were done praying for me. I was starting to lose my, my balance. I felt this warmth, and I can't explain that. I, I felt the Holy Spirit in the past, but this was a bit different. And, and, and let me tell you folks, I uh, went to visit my dad. I haven't had no pain since we left. And I'm in constant pain. I believe, I don't think, brother, I know God healed me. Yeah. And the reason I'm going to go to the doctor is for one reason only is so they can see the power of God. Yeah. And if we could be a witness, I, I praise the Lord and I'm thankful because God is a great healer. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise God. You know, he has a tremendous testimony. He, I won't go into that. That's his testimony. But he was away from the Lord for a long time. But the Lord has reclaimed him. Mm. How many believe the Lord reclaims his his people, amen. Sister Francis, stand and testify tonight. You came all the way down from, from Hereford, from Miracle Valley. Testify tonight, if you don't mind. I just praise the Lord to be here tonight. We've been in revival with uh, Evangelist Chris all week long, and God has moved. He's yeah. steered up hearts. And you know, it's that time, it's that season, church. We cannot be lax. We cannot sit back, but we've got to enter in. I like what the brother said tonight. He came with an expectancy. If you have an expectancy, hey. looking for the Lord, hey. he will show up. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. How many, know, how many came with, with an expectancy? Yeah. Yeah. Brother Hurry, it's so good to see you. Testify tonight, brother. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise Hallelujah. God. I just want to thank God about uh, the church. And I just, I always just remember today when uh, Brother Josh yesterday texted me, Brother Chris is here, and then the Lord took me all the way for 22 years. And I remember you were praying for us with Ebenezer yeah. and here, and then I thank God for what, and the Lord's uh, support, grace, supports us to be here today. And I just want to tell that Brother Mario, I was in a, my wife's cousin's funeral, just the same accidents that you had. 
Most Christians, they don't understand. They, they take it for granted what, what being in the Lord is to be protected. Yes. So when he's saying, when he's preaching, what we have, uh, the devil wants to underestimate it. But we are in the Lord's hand. So I thank God about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you with the hurry. He, 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 this, this young man, he's from Etura. It, 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 yes, that, that word. And he came here uh, because, the, the, was it the communists or the Muslims? The communists were taking over the country and he got asylum over here. Excuse me. And he became a student here at the U of A. And God has used him powerfully to reach these people because we can't speak that, that language. But it's, it's, it was Ethiopia initially, wasn't it? Am I correct on that? And the, the, the church over there was the Coptic church. And, and but God brought them into Pentecost. Praise Woo! the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Now, not here, but over there. And, and let me just say something, folks. The Holy Ghost is going everywhere. Yes. This Pentecostal movement is going literally everywhere. Thank you. Amen. And, and folks, we need a new outpouring of the Holy Ghost in the United States of America. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sister Mary testified or not? Praise God. Yes. I've known Sister Mary for many years. Testify. Yes, and I know. Can I tell it all? <laughs> I am so glad to be here tonight because I need refilling. I think if everybody needs a refilling, can you say amen? Amen. Well, you say, I got, ref I got filled. Well, you need it again. Yes, amen. And again. Amen. And by the way, Naomi got filled with the Holy Spirit through one of your services. Yes. We've had a powerful move in our church. Amen. God is moving and the Pentecostal movement is moving. Yes. And we're going to keep it going. That's right. Amen. Amen. Everybody shall thank God for the Holy Ghost tonight. Praise, Praise, the, Holy Ghost. Praise, Praise the Lord. God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Key of E flat. Well, they were in an upper chamber, and they were all with one accord. Well, when the Holy Ghost descended, as was promised by our Lord, well, now, oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, and baptize everyone. Yes, this old time power was given to our fathers who were true. When it is promised to be believers, and we all may have it too. When our oh Lord sent the power just now. Oh Lord sent the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now and baptize everyone. One more time, glory to God. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now and baptize everyone. When old time power was given to our fathers, Put your hands together, sing it tonight. It is promised to believers, and we all may have it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. And baptize everyone. How many of you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah, Jesus. Well, you may be seated. I, I did again the word, and then we're going to worship the Lord some more. Thank you, musicians, and I appreciate that. And uh, just appreciate it. I really, I really do. I just appreciate everybody coming out tonight. I wasn't sure how many were going to come out. And, and this is a great, great crowd for Sunday night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for coming out. I still believe it's Sunday night service. Do you believe in that? Yeah. I still believe in it. Yeah. This is where the, the, it's the Sunday night service where it happens. Yeah. There's an old song we used to sing, it happened. I, how does that go? It happened and I know. I was there when it happened. So I was there when it happened. How does it go? I guess I, I guess I ought to know. I was there when it happened. I guess I ought to be, anyway, I haven't heard that forever either. Praise the Lord. 
How many of you remember when you were saved and baptized in the Holy Ghost? Praise God. Take your Bibles if you would. I'm going to preach a message that I preached actually uh, the other night there in, in, in Bisbee, a first assembly. Go to, go to Psalms chapter 46 tonight. Psalms chapter 46. This church has been a historical church through, through its inception. It started when, in the 1920s or 30s. The 30s. My brother Iding, 34. Brother Iding, you, you do not know Brother Iding, but they, they did a deal, uh, uh, an, a I would say like a little documentary of Southwestern in Waxahachie. And Brother Iding was baptized of the Holy Ghost in about 1907, 1908 in San Antonio, Texas. He and J.O. Seville, you've heard of Brother Seville, were baptized of the Holy Ghost in the same revival in San Antonio at a Pentecostal mission. What Brother Seville went south and Brother Iding came out here. And he went to Bisbee, Arizona, and opened up what we now call First Assembly of God in Bisbee in 1912 before the Assemblies of God ever organized. Because they did not organize until 1914. Brother Idings founded that church, then he founded the church at Douglas at First Assembly. And then he went to here, went to Gila Bend, and went to First Assembly in Phoenix. And, and these churches are all still going. Yeah, you know, I, I was praying today, getting ready for the service, and, and the Pentecostal movement, it, it, there's so many different streams in it. Well, one, one group only wants doctrine and no move of the Holy Ghost. They want a Pentecostal doctrine, but they don't want any move of the Spirit. Then you have another group over here that only wants to move of the Spirit, and they don't want any doctrine. But when you bring the Word and the Spirit together, Amen. it's like A.C. Bates said this, Amen. if you have only the Spirit you will blow up. If you have only the Word of God, you'll dry up. But if you have the Word and the Spirit, you'll grow up. So how many of you want both tonight? That's what I want. And so through the years, God has brought, I'm going to move this out of the way, great men, great men to pastor this, this local Assembly of God church and great preachers throughout its history have stood behind this, this pulpit on this platform. They've had Brother Jack Coe preach here, Brother William Branham has preached here, uh, Gordon Lindsay has preached here. You know how I know all that? Because Sister Reynolds or Sister Pope Toy told me all about the ministers that preached in the 1950s. And, and pastors, uh, God has brought great pastors here to this church. And, and you're looking at one right here, Brother, Brother Jimmy Munns. And, and God has used him. And he's opened up the church to other ministries uh, that are here. You have the, an African ministry. Who else do you have here? Filipino? Filipino? Panama? Uh, Panama? Uh, Brother Hurry's group from your, your nation, praise the Lord. I'm not going to, I'll just say Ethiopia, praise the Lord. The Tria uh, ministry. And, and it just keeps going on. And how many of you believe that we are here to advance the kingdom? It's not about us. It's not about the Assemblies of God or the Pentecostal Church of God or any other group. It's just about Jesus Christ. And, and we still believe that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And Brother Al uh, Auburn, it's so good to see you tonight. I've known them for many years also from Victory Assembly. And he's pastored a different, you've already been a pastor in different areas. And thank you for being here tonight. I know you're helping Sister Mary, Mary's ministry over there. And how many of you believe that God will place you where he needs you? Yes. How many of you want to be available to God? Yes. Some people say, well, God opened up a door for me. Well, let God use you where you're at. You're, 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 are you a third or fourth generation Pentecostal? Fourth? Fourth. When, when did, who was the first one that received the Holy Ghost in your family? My grandfather's dad. So your great-grandfather? Yes. Red Rasco. Red Rasco. And where was that at? That was over in the Trinidad area. The Trinidad area. And they were the drylanders, is that correct? Okay, now they were so strict in those days. I remember the men's men told me this story. When they got the Holy Ghost, they took their wedding bands and threw it in the Trinity River. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's on the other side. The other side of the other family. So you have a great heritage up here. And then Joel, 
You have a great heritage. So you're a fifth generation Pentecostal. I know your children are six. And, and, and they need the Holy Ghost. Jordan needs the Holy Ghost. Your oldest son. Have you been baptized in the Holy Ghost, Joel? When did you receive the Holy Ghost? 13, they're in Texas. Right here. And, and was it a revival? Was it a revival or just you? Hallelujah. And we prayed for Sister Francis' grandkids to receive the Holy Ghost the other night. L listen, folks. You're, you're what, a second generation or third generation? Third. So your kids are fourth and your grandkids are fifth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can you shout amen tonight? Amen. Uh, no, that was a good Baptist amen. Can you say a Pentecostal amen? Can you say amen? amen. That, that, that's, that's Methodist now. Hallelujah. Let's try a Pentecostal amen. Everybody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I, I'm so grateful for the infilling of the Holy Ghost. So let's begin in verse 1 of of uh, Psalms 46, when I think of Spanish and want to go back into Spanish, and brother, thank you for coming. He's been a missionary in Mexico. He was baptized in Washington State by the Fulton Fontaine Church, the great church up there. Yeah, there are Pentecostal churches all over the world. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Joel, I want you to stand and ask God's blessing upon this message. And everybody shouted amen tonight. Yeah. Psalms chapter 46, beginning in verse 1. The psalmist says this, God is our refuge. Everybody say refuge. refuge. And, strength. and strength. A very present help. Therefore will we not fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river. Everybody shout, there is a river. One more time, there is a river. Whereof there shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. I didn't finish the whole verse, I'm sorry. There is a river. The streams there whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her that right early. Verse 10, if you could. I, I, I could read the whole text, but verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And everybody shouted amen tonight. How many of you believe tonight that there is a river that's flowing right now? The river is referring to the Holy Spirit. I am so grateful. I'm just going to tell you. I am so grateful that I am saved. My sins are washed away. But I'm also very grateful for this great infilling of the Holy Ghost. How many of you are grateful for the infilling of the Holy Ghost? I'm grateful that I'm filled with the Spirit of the living God. It changed my life. The, the, the psalmist here, he, he starts out that great verse. He, he says in verse 1, God is our refuge. How many of you believe that He is your refuge tonight? Everybody just say that with me. God is my refuge. Let, let me read that in my commentary here. It says, we all experience times when we feel spiritually dry, empty, and unproductive. However, this should not be the normal condition of the believer. However, this should not be the normal condition of the believer. <laughs> you get that. You, I, I ministered on that this morning. I, I talked about it at Bisbee. There are some Christian people that are always depressed. They're always defeated. 
They're always wrung out. They, they never have any joy on the inside of them. That's not the normal life for the believer in Jesus Christ. We, we are grafted into the vine. He is the vine. We are the branch. Jesus is the, the vine. We, are, we receive his life-giving force. I, I want you to know, folks, the life-giving force of Jesus lives in me. It's not because of me. It's because of Jesus Christ. Is anybody here alive in Jesus tonight? If you're alive in Jesus, shout, I'm alive. When, when, when you're in Jesus Christ, you become a new creature. All things are past away. Behold, all things become new. I, I don't know about you, brother, but I'm grateful that I'm saved. I, I'm grateful that I have a place to live. I'm grateful for the provision of the Lord. I'm grateful that my name is written down in the Lamb's book of life. I'm grateful that I'm on my way to heaven. I'm grateful that His hand is in my head. I'm grateful that He is the Alpha and He is the Omega. I'm grateful that He's the beginning and that He's the ending. I'm grateful that he's the first and he's the last. Is anybody in the house grateful for Jesus? If you are, give the Lord a shout of praise. Everybody shout, I'm grateful. Some people refuse to have any joy. And they always want you to build them up. And I know we as a minister, we have a responsibility of preaching the truth. But there's a place where you and I have to get this for ourselves. I love what it says here. However, we should not be the, it should not be the normal condition for the believer. God desires to be active in the lives of his people. This psalm expresses trust and confidence in God. When you're saved, we have a confidence in God. During a time when the situations of life are not stable or secure, the power and the ability to face difficulties and uncertainties of life are found in God. The word refuge gives a picture of a shelter from danger. He is my shelter from danger. He is my shelter in the storm. Anybody ever been in a storm before? We're, we're in Dallas, Texas. We're fixing to go into the tornado season. Oh, Lord. I wish I to leave during that time. I'll be going to Dallas tomorrow. Be there for two days and then go to Colorado. Hallelujah. I always want to see the tornado behind me. <laughs> Not over me. But I've been in some... Some, some situations. In fact, I, years ago, I think I was preaching for y'all there, there in East Texas. And I, I was going through Brownsboro there on Highway 31 and going towards, over there towards Athens and, and Texas, where they're, the, the area where they were living. And, and I said, there's got to be a, there's a tornado in them clouds. And there was. <laughs> Hallelujah. But how many of you believe that if you're a Christ Jesus, you can have an assurance that God is going to be with you, not only in the good times, but he'll be with you in the bad times. He'll be with you, young man, in the storm. And he'll be with you when it's calm. He'll be with you when it's hailing. He'll be with you when it's snow. He'll be with you when there's an earthquake. He'll be with you when there's a hurricane. He will be with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is with me all the time. Can anybody shout amen? And I can run into him. He doesn't abandon me. He doesn't leave me, son. He is always with me. Glory to God. Heavenly shout glory to God. Not only that, he is my strength. Heavenly shout, he is my strength. Say it one more time. He is my strength. No, not, not because you work out of the gym as you can see I do. I'm just joking. <laughs> Not, not because we're in the gym lifting, pumping iron or, or lifting weights. He is your strength. John, when you're weak, he'll be strength. James, when you're weak, he'll be your strength. 
Mario, where the enemy comes in like a flood, he'll be your strength. When Satan tempts you, Jesus will be your strength. When you feel like giving up, he'll be your strength. How many of you can say that he has been your strength? He is, listen to this, he, this is so powerful. He is a refuge and strength, a very present. Everybody say present. present. That means right now. He's a very present help. He, everybody shout, he is presently with me. Is he with you right now? Did you bring him to church with you? Chewie, did you bring Jesus to church with you? I've known him for years. Every time I got a million ties, neckties, I'm going to give to this man. And every time I come out here, I forget to bring him. But it's going to happen one day. Hallelujah. Hey, everybody shout, it's going to happen one day. He's my friend. He's a very present help. He's your help when in the time of trouble. Has God ever helped you in your trouble? Hurry, just talking about, was it your, your wife's nephew that was in the, a car accident? Was he killed in that? He's your help. I remember years ago, the young, the young man uh, that you had to, from their, their, their tribe, he was killed. Remember that? And you had to preach his message, and the whole family was here. I, I, I remember how God used you all to minister to this family because in the culture of Etura, they, they grieve until they're buried. Is that correct? And they had to wait several days before they could bury this young man. And they're not sure how he died. Is that correct? They're not sure. And I remember I was praying for Brother Jimmy. I said, how, what is he going to preach on? Well, you know, what, 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 ha what happened to him? Was, did he, was it a natural cause? Was he killed? What happened to him? And I remember how this message that, that God used to, to, for Brother, that God gave to Brother Munz. And when, when, when he read the text where Jesus says, Fear not him that can kill the body, but fear him that can kill the body and the soul. I said, that is a message. I have never forgotten that message you preached at this funeral here in this church. You, you see, folks, let me tell you something. If you don't give up on God and cave in every time it gets difficult on you and every time the enemy assails against you, the Lord will bring you through. Yeah. But, but if you're always giving up, it's hard for God to help you. Amen. Well, this hypocrite said, the world called me. Brother, it's like Andre Crouch's song. If I never had a problem, I would never know that God could solve one. Amen. But when you have people always giving in and always giving up, they never see the miraculous God. But in that funeral, I, I saw the, the miracle that, because that ministered to me. I can't help what people do to this physical body. But that's not who we fear. We fear here that can destroy the body and the spirit. But when you're in Christ, he doesn't destroy your soul. He saves you. Can anybody shout amen right now? I said, can you shout amen? I said, can you shout amen? Don't give up because it gets difficult. People say, some people never came back to church because of the COVID. They just sit at home and watch church on their pajamas. They give up. And not because they're ill. I get that. People get older. I get all that. But brother, my, my mom can't come to church like she used to. But I'm going to tell you something, folks. She was faithful to God. Are you faithful? Yeah. Yeah. Brother, I, I, I guess I was a drug addict. I was. I was a drug addict. I was drugged to church. I was drugged Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Tuesday night. Back then when I was a kid, they had revival. It was scheduled for two weeks. We went every night. And I'm a preacher today because I learned what it is to be faithful. That this, this, hit, this, this kind of come and go when I feel like it. Well, Aunt Jane came in from wherever she came. We're going to have to stay at home for a couple of weeks. Listen to me. Bring Aunt Jane to church. 
How many of you know we have got to be faithful to the Lord? He goes, goes on to say this. This is so powerful. Notice what he, he, he says. Though, therefore will not we fear, though the, mount, the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. That sounds like an earthquake to me. Though the mountains and the earth is removed and carried into the sea, I'm not going to fear. Now that's some confidence this psalmist had, young ladies. To have confidence like this. What was it? Your, your, your grandmother, you told us at lunch today, when that tornado was coming to your farm, take the house away. Just tell, tell the story. That tornado went up, went over the house, took up some trees on the other side, and she is still here. I know of another lady in Mississippi that a tornado was coming to her trailer. She went on her porch, put her hands, hands on her hips, and said, Tornado, you're not coming here. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. And that tornado went up and over. Hallelujah. Can anybody in the house shout amen tonight? There's a place where you and I have got to live by faith for ourselves. I'll say that again. There's a place where you and I have to learn to live by faith. You say, well, I don't have a lot of faith. Use the faith you have. If all you've got is the mustard seed, that's enough. To every man has been given a measure of faith. Everybody shout, we have been given a measure of faith. Use it. Use it. Everything we do is by faith. Before I feel anything, I worship him. Before a prayer is answered, I pray before it ever happens. Before anything happens in a revival service, I preach before it happens. Can I get a witness out here right now? Well, I, I'm not going to do nothing until God tells me what to, you know, what's going to happen at the end. He, that ain't going to happen. I, I, brother, I've, learned, I've been living by faith since I was 18 years old. When I left this town and went to Bible school in Waxahachie, Texas, that the Assemblies of God have a school there, went to Bible college over there, it was by faith. And I put in my dorm room, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches of glory by Christ Jesus. And I've had to learn to do that all these years. And God has never one time failed me. I can say I failed him, but he has never failed me. Has God ever failed you? I said, has God ever failed you? So he goes on to say this, though the waters thereof roar and trouble, be troubled. Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, it looks like it's over. But that's not where this psalm ends. He said, but there is a river. The streams, not stream, streams, whereof shall make glad the city of God. The city of God is Jerusalem. And Jerusalem does not have a river. But we're not talking about a normal river. We're talking about the river of the Holy Spirit. In the, there, is a, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. 
God shall help her. And that right early. Let, let me tell you something. The source of the church is the river of the Holy Spirit. That in all of the catastrophe, because of that river, the church, the people of God, will not be moved. I said, will not be moved. Everybody shout, will not be moved. What's your son's name here? What's it? Prince. I'm so happy you're here, buddy. He will not be moved. You will not be moved. Chewy, you will not be moved. 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 Well, Chris, look at the mountains. Look at the day we're living in. Look at the culture. Look at how evil it is. Look how terrible it is. Look at the economy. Look at the White House. Look at the Congress. Look at the Senate. Look at the Supreme Court. Look, look at everything around us. The, the God and godliness. I will not be moved. Amen. You know what's sustaining me? They don't sustain me. The world does not sustain me. You, you, you ought to get that. The world does not sustain me. People do not sustain me. God sustains me. The applause of, of the world does not sustain me. The applause of the church does not sustain me. It's the river that sustains me. Ron, it's the river that sustains me. Hallelujah. Can anybody in the house shout amen? Yeah. Jesus promises in, Mark, in the book of Matthew chapter 16 when he takes his disciples to the northern part of Israel to, to the base of Mount Hermon where the Jordan River flows out of a cave and there's all these rocks around him. And, and he asked them, he says, whom do men say that I am? And Peter said, thou art the son of the living God. And, and Jesus says, flesh and blood hath not revealed this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And he said, upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against my church it will assail it will try to stop it but it will not prevail hallelujah does anybody believe that the church does not belong to us the church belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ can you give the Lord a clap offering tonight can you shout glory to God I've seen it over and over and over and over again. Where the Holy Ghost is moving. That's the life of the church. That's why one of the great things of the Holy Spirit, He sanctifies the believer. He sets us apart from the world. The more worldly a church becomes, the less fervent it is. I watched churches that 40 years ago, people were a flame of fire. And they let silly things come in. They let worldliness come in. And it begins to clog up the river. I still don't go to the movie theater. Will it send me to hell? If I go to one, I don't know. But I know one thing. Amen. I need the anointing. Amen. I don't go to dance halls. I don't go. I, I, I will admit I had to go to a casino one time in Oklahoma to use the restroom. <laughs> because it was right on the highway there. I, I, hallelujah. When I crossed the Red River. But I don't go to dance halls. You say, well, are you better than me? I No, 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 no. I just want you to know, folks, I, I value the anointing. I, I do not, listen, are, are y'all with me in a church? I don't want to be co considered just a communicator or an orator. I want to be a Holy Ghost preacher. I said, I want to be a, I want to be a Holy Ghost preacher. The, the, when, I was, when I was baptized in water at the age of nine years old at Flowing Wells Assembly of God Church, Brother Jones is the one that led the song service there. And when I heard, when I first remember Brother Jones preaching, I was about 11 years old, 12 years old, and I said, Lord, if I ever preach, I want to be like that man. Yeah. 
I, I, I want to I preach like that man. I didn't know anything about Brother Jones except he was just an old, well back then I should say that, an elder man. And I was a little boy. Hallelujah. And I would see the way God would move with Brother Jones and then the evangelist that Brother Jones would bring in. To, I'm talking about Flowing Wells Assembly of God before victory ever started. And I would see how the Holy Ghost would move when Perry would lead the song service and they would begin to sing blessings that wonderful name of Jesus no other name I know and the Holy Ghost will begin to anoint that place and sometimes they start running the aisles and shouting the glory and it be something begin to rise up within me and I would bring friends to church from school and I was there with the type said oh I hope they don't shout I hope they don't run I wanted them to do it I wanted them to see the power of God on display I want you to know church Prince Jesus is not dead Jesus is alive tonight. Can you give the Lord a shout of praise? See, I, I grew up in this thing. But when I started preaching full time, I was even preaching during Bible school. Any church that had a move of God no matter what the name of the building was, was full. Did it matter? It was a building that would seat 30 people. It would be full. Come on. Because the river was full. Yeah. 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 I would go to Brother Munn's church, in that, the, the schoolhouse, On a pier and beam. Building. Anyone know what pier and beam is? You don't have a slab. You have a pier and then a beam over across it. And that's how old was that building? <laughs> old. <laughs> it was older when we were young. Yeah. About a hundred years old, would you think? Yeah. And I remember preaching revival. I was twenty-four years old. Preaching in that church on the river of the Holy Ghost. And I had a vision. Preaching. And in that vision, I saw a river with people sitting on the bank. But Jesus was in the middle of the river. Baptizing people. And there's, only, there's always going to be a group of people that never get in. That's okay. But those that get in. Jesus will fill you. Amen. I remember saying that story, and I came one of the ladies, another sort of Farrell, who was, one of those ladies said, when I said that, she said she could like feel water go by her. I've only had maybe one or two of those while I preach. But I'm going to tell you something, folks. Where the river of the Spirit is, there is life. Yeah. There. Over here in, well, Palominas. Oh, over here on the San Pedro River. I was mentioning this the other night. Over here in southeast Arizona. All around it is desert. But along the river, there's catfish in that thing. They've even thrown some bass in that thing. And right now, all the cottonwood trees are budding out. And if you go along that river, you would never know you were in the desert. Hallelujah, Jesus. If you're in a desert, it's because we're away from the river. Well, I don't feel nothing. Well, I don't make you feel nothing. You have to be thirsty for this river. When Sister Francis Alvarez's father worked for Brother A.A. A. Allen in the 1960s in Miracle Valley. Her mother worked for Brother Allen when he was still in Dallas back in the 50s. Why would people in the 1960s travel all over the nation to a desert? Thousands would come 
to a camp meeting. And back in the 1960s, I don't think Interstate 10 was even built yet. It would take a long time to get out here because the anointing was there. The Spirit of God was there. Why, why was it that people in the 1950s would cram into a, a gospel tent where Jack Coe preached or, or Brother Roberts preached or, or Brother Allen preached and there'd be 20,000 people under a tent with all of the mosquitoes and the chiggers and all the bugs and everything out there to hear a man preach? Yes, but the anointing was there. That, that's why I'm Pentecostal, Brother Munz. Get ready, ready to play something softly, sister. Munz on the piano. I'm just starting to close. Are you bored in here? No. I live in Dallas, Texas, brother, where there's some churches that run 30,000 members. They got a great choir, a great orchestra. They got even a great word. But there's no Holy Ghost operating. People come in sick, they leave sick. People come in depressed, they leave depressed. They come in bad, there's a great word. You know what it is? They just don't believe that God does that anymore. They put a dam on the river. And I'll listen to these guys on the radio. They'll, they'll tell me why God doesn't do this anymore. One man from California had a whole conference against the Pentecostal movement. I'll just tell you who it was with John MacArthur. That was his whole conference. It's like, I want to say, you take care of your group and we'll take care of our group. But I've seen the dead raised. I've seen the blind receive their sight. I've seen people heal in their kidneys. I've seen people that are deaf, my brother, their ears unstopped. I have seen people that were on their deathbed, had cancer, and the Lord raised them up. Yes. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Lord. I remember years ago doing a watch night service in this church for about the months. Cliff Tagger came in, and Cliff is not given to spiritual things like this. He came in from work. He sat here around where you're. He said, Chris, at, when I walked in, I could hear angels singing. I don't know. He. That was amazing to me. See, we believe the Bible is still for today. I've seen legs lengthened. Brother Schambach talks about a, praying for a lady. They had, they had to amputate her foot because of diabetes, and the Lord grew one. <laughs> you say, you believe that? Yes. Is there anything too hard for God? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Does God want to? Yeah. But I can't do this. It's the Holy Ghost. I, back in November, I showed this in Bisbee. I was in a two-week revival with Pastor Ray Chavez. The second week on Wednesday night, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. I want you to pray against the powers of hell in this state of Colorado. Any immorality is is open. I mean, it's. The governor is married to his husband. That's her governor. And so I brought about 500 people down to the front. 
Now this is the, one of the most praying churches I've ever seen. They pray every Monday night and every Friday night between one to two hundred people in prayer meetings. I brought these people down. I said, we're going to pray against this, the, these demonic powers of drug addiction and all this perversion. But I said, we're not going to pray in English. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. And we began to pray in the Spirit. And all of a sudden, it was like we were transported, Prince, into a battlefield. And the people, James, began to pray in the Holy Ghost in a way I've not heard since the 1980s. It was intense. It was powerful. It was anointed. The Spirit literally took control of us. And the Holy Ghost made us so real to me. He said this, If you try to do the work of God, you will wear out. But if I, my Spirit, does it through you, you will never wear out. Did, did Joel get that? If you try to do it, sister, you'll wear out. Joel, if you try to do it, you'll wear out. Young man in the back, if you try to do work for God in yourself, you'll wear out. But if you're possessed and filled by the Holy Spirit. He does the work. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Which you received a month ago. That's more than just speaking in tongues. Yes. He's a third person of the Godhead. That has made residence here. Take care of it. Take care of what you've received. And you can, the Holy Spirit can pray through you every day. And the Bible speaks about divers' tongues. And that word divers means diverse or different. You can go deeper in God, in the Spirit, for even your tongue starts changing. Oh, can I get a witness out here? Your tongue searching. Oh, Jesus. The Holy Ghost speaks every language on the earth. I'll say that again. When a person speaks in tongues, sir, it doesn't come from their brain. It's not something I'm thinking. It wells up as a river. That begins to flow out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus said in John chapter 7. Out of your belly. Your innermost being. Shall flow rivers. Of living water. And it begins. It, it comes from the spirit. And when we speak in tongues. It is so supernatural. This is actually the Holy Spirit himself. Speaking through. The believer. Where did you receive the Holy Ghost? Your home. How many years ago has that been now? 24 years. Did it change your life? The Holy Spirit, brother, when we're full of the Holy Ghost, He gives us so much desire to serve God. He gives, we want to come to church. We want to read the Bible. We grieve that there's not a church service. He causes us to love Jesus. What I did not do before, now the Holy Ghost comes to do. When I didn't understand why people lift their hands, now I understand because I want to do that too. Hallelujah. I've seen the Holy Ghost work from great cities and Maria to Ajidos in Mexico to Pueblitos. I've been to 
the mountains of Mexico seen God move miles away from a city no luxuries of this world but they have this great Holy Ghost I've seen it in children I've seen it in young people tears coming down their face worshiping God and no one tells them to do that on the inside the Holy Spirit compels me to worship God I cannot help but want to serve Him Hallelujah Jesus Oh hermana este glorioso Espíritu Santo es más que algo que yo siento es mi consolador Él me ayuda Él me consuele Él me guía en la senda de verdad Gloria a Dios He is my everything young man The Holy Spirit changes our life Oh Jesus To sing that song that David Sapp wrote many years ago There is a river Can we sing it tonight? There is a river that flows from deep within, that flows from deep within. There is a fountain, there is a fountain that frees the soul from sin. supply there is a vast supply there is a river sir there is a river that never shall run dry never shall run dry let's lift our hands and sing it everybody now This water 
could there is a river hey. lift up your voice and sing it everybody today from they keep playing that I'm going to ask you a question are you thirsty for the Holy Ghost are you thirsty to be filled with his spirit are you thirsty to be refilled with this spirit Jordan are you thirsty for God's sake Maria, are you thirsty? And the little boy is thirsty too. Hallelujah. Joel, are you thirsty? Young lady, are you thirsty for God to move in your life? Levi, are you thirsty for God? Brother Mo, are you thirsty for God? He was my Royal Ranger commander a long time ago. Are you thirsty? Mario, are you still thirsty? Hermana, ya tiene sed del el Espíritu Santo. Amen. Brother, are you thirsty back there? Let's do it our PowerPoint. Are you thirsty up there, son, for the Holy Ghost? Chewy, are you thirsty for God to move? Folks, are you thirsty? My buddy Prince, are you thirsty, son? You thirsty? Yes, he is. Sister, are you thirsty? Young lady, are you thirsty? Sir, are you thirsty? Everybody that says, I want more of God, I'm thirsty for the presence of. You say, Well, brother, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do here. I've, I've never been to a holy, I've been mean, a Pentecostal church like this. Always remember at the Father's table. There are no visitors. God doesn't have grandkids. He only has children. And everybody here is welcome to, pre to press into God, to, to drink from this well, this fountain. So what I want us to do as we sing this again, would you leave from where you're standing, whether from the sides or the middle or the balcony in the back it doesn't matter everybody come and stand here in front of these altar bitches right now just come and just stand right now let's sing this one more time as we sing this there is a river that flows from the Would you lift your hands right now? Come to this water.
Jesus, that never shall Now lift up your hands and begin to worship Jesus with your own mouth. We love you, Jesus. We praise your name, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we glorify your name. Lord, I praise your name. Lord, I glorify the name of Jesus. I magnify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Savior. Holy Spirit. You do the work. work, Holy Ghost, in my life. Feel it overflowing. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you speak in tongues, begin to pray in the Spirit right now. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Te amamos, Jesucristo. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, I praise your name. I glorify the name of Jesus. I praise your holy name. Jesus. Lord, I praise your name. I glorify the name of Jesus. God, move in Chewy's life. Move on Holy Spirit. Move in his life, O oh God. Move in this man, O oh God. Move the Holy Ghost. For hurry, God. Move in his life, his family, his children. You've blessed her. Oh, Ramana Shatta, move in him, oh God. Move in him, oh Ramana Shatta. Rishi Tikata, Lamana Shatta. Ya Ramana Shatta, Lamahaya. Hallelujah, move in John's life, oh God. Hallelujah, Rishata, Lamana Shatta. Move in his life, oh Jesus. Restore him, oh God. Restore the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Ghost to restore you. Say, Lord, restore me. Restore me, Holy Spirit. Restore me, O oh God. Restore me, O oh Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Restore us, O oh God. Restore us, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. I praise your name, Jesus. I glorify your name. Is a fountain that frees the soul. This evening, if you've never been baptized in the Holy Ghost, and the evidence that you've been baptized in the Spirit, according to the Word of God, is you will speak in tongues. We don't teach you how to speak in tongues. We don't say, repeat after me. But that is when you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you've been filled with the Spirit. There's only two requirements to receive the Holy Ghost. Two. One, you have to be saved. Your sins have to be washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. And then secondly, you have to want to receive the Holy Ghost. That's it. It's a gift. The Holy Spirit, He is a gift. And you will never be the same after you've been baptized in the Holy Ghost. And Jesus is here to fill you so before we do anything else tonight, I know this is not a revival, I'm just here today. That's it. 
So we don't have, all, you know, for a whole week to, to develop all this. But tonight you say, I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Would you come and just stand right here? You say, I want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. I've never spoken in tongues, but I want to receive the gift of the Spirit tonight. Jesus, he is right here, right now. Would anybody want to receive the Holy Ghost tonight? Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm just going to wait for a moment. Hallelujah, young lady. The Spirit of the Lord is touching you right now. What's your name? Corey? Lori? Anybody else? You want to receive the Holy Ghost? Would you come right now? Hallelujah. Nobody else? This young man right here? You want to see the Holy Ghost? Come over here, sister. Just stand right by Lori. Give me a sister. Hallelujah. spoken in tongues, all right? You've never spoken in tongues. You never have you spoken in tongues? You have the prince. I'm so happy you, you brought him really. Thank you. You've never spoken in tongues. You never spoken in tongues. You have. And you have, but you just up here. Mo has. Anybody else? Now look, you want to receive the Holy Ghost? John, stand right there by prince. I bet your mom and dad will look you down from heaven right now. Right? Her, his mother was a tremendous prayer warrior. J just a minute, just real softly. Just I gotta say something about John Hitchcock over here. You, you just keep playing. Just. Okay, okay. John's family that's in the ocean, Missouri. One of his nieces right now is a missionary. Hannah, or Anna, I should say, is a missionary to Myanmar, to Burma, with the Assemblies of God. She and her husband. You see, when I look across a church like this, I see such potential that God will do through a person, Lord, that's filled with the Holy Ghost. You feel that, don't you, sister? I feel that way. You feel the Spirit of the Lord, You don't have to beg God to receive the Holy Ghost. You don't have to plead with Him, say, please fill me. He's a gift. It's the promise of your Heavenly Father. Oh, Jesus. Get ready, Sister Francis. Help me. Sister Mary, can you, are you able to help us pray at all? I know you can't have a hard time... So, Ogburn, are you able to help us? For the, for those of you that are ministers of the gospel. So what I want you to do is expect God. You receive the Holy Ghost by faith, the Bible says. In other words, you expect to be filled. And when he begins to fill you, and you begin to sense something coming up out of your spirit, speak that out. Don't think it's you. Don't think, well, that's... Don't overthink anything. If you ask for the Spirit, He's not going to give you a scorpion. That's right, buddy. Or a rock. He'll give you the Spirit. All you have to do is begin. Let your voice speak that out. So lift your hands with me right now. Close your eyes and lift your head up towards the ceiling like you're going to receive from God. Because Jesus will fill you. Say, Jesus. Say it out loud, Jesus. Here I am. I am hungry for the, a move of the Holy Ghost in my life. Now get ready. Get ready. Say, Jesus. Say it out loud, Jesus. Baptize me. In the Holy Ghost. And fire, and fire 
with power and the evidence of speaking in tongues I receive I receive now now the Holy Ghost receive the Holy Ghost right now that's it Shut. she just get the Holy Ghost right now speak that out go ahead if you can play something y'all you want to come down and help us pray pray let your tongue go. That's it. She just got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. She just got the Holy Ghost right there. Hallelujah. Come on, help me pray, church, right now. We see the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Prince, we see the Holy Ghost, son. Shata la marokura mares, shata la mahai. Shata la marokura mares. Pray for these ladies, hallelujah. Shata la nadi kata la nadi sata. We need some prayer warriors. We need some prayer. We, we've lost that in the search. We need some prayer warriors. Help us pray for these folks. Hallelujah, kara mara shata ya. Shata la marokura. Brother Jimmy, can you help us pray for this for John right now? Shata la mara kata la nadi sata. We see the Holy Ghost, John. We see the Holy Ghost. We see the Holy Ghost. We see the Holy Ghost, John. Shana mara kata la mara sata ya. Shana maro kura mara sata la mara sata la mahaya. Sara maro kata la mara. We see the Holy Ghost. We see the Holy Ghost. Shata rama. Keep speaking in tongues. Keep speaking in tongues. Keep speaking in tongues. Keep speaking in Ramara Shata La Mahaya. Yaramara Shata La Mara Kata Ramaro Shata La Mari Katai. Yaramara Shata La Mara Kata. That's it, Lori. Speak it out. That's it, Lord. The Holy Ghost speak it in your mouth. Shata La Mara Kata La Mara Shata La Mahaya. Shata la maroku ramari shata la mahaya. Yara mara shata la mahaya. Yara mara shata la mara. Hey! Moving to God, Rama Harishi Kataya. Shata la mara kata la mara shata ya. Shata riku ramari shiti kata la mahaya. Yara mara shata la maroku ramari shiti kata la mahaya. Shata, that's it, Lord. 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 The Holy Ghost on your glory right now. Open your mouth. Open your mouth, glory. Open your mouth, glory. Everybody pray the Holy Ghost right now. Shata la mara kura mara sata la mahai. Shata la mara kura mara sata ya. He's right here, John. He's right here. She's right here, John. Shata la mara kura mara sika ta la mahai. Shata la mara kura mara sika ta la mahai. Shata la mara kura sika la mahai. Glory to God.
just deliver her of cigarettes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. You feel that, don't you? Hallelujah. Now you can receive the Holy Ghost. Pray for ladies. Hallelujah. Tonight, if you need a healing in your body, would you come on? And we're going to believe that Jesus will heal you. That this man in the front row, he needs a healing in his body. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come over here, brother. I'll come to you. Fourteen months ago, if Jesus was here and he touched you, would you be healed? This man is a preacher, a missionary. He's had two strokes 14 months ago. How many of you believe Jesus wants to restore him? Plus, he has an aneurysm on his brain. They want to operate on it. Let's believe God is going to heal you.
Jesus, yes, Lord. He would bring me out and show me. this world of sin. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Washed in the blood of Jesus. Been born again. Hallelujah. I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I'm glad that I found out He would bring me out. From Oh yes, thank you, Jesus. What a wonder. Yes, 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 yes. I'm glad that I found out he would bring me out. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. Again. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved. By his wonderful grace. Yes, Lord. Could you Thank put you, me Jesus. up on the microphone? Absolutely. Could you put me up on this? Because I can't. If they can't even hear me, there we go. If Jesus was here and he touched you, would you be healed? Is Jesus here? Can he heal you? When? Is he going to? She wants to be healed. She got the COVID. So she has a cough from that. But how many of you believe the Lord can completely heal her? Yeah. Lift your hands right now, sister. Praise God.
Praise the Lord, sir. The Spirit of God is upon you right now. The Holy Spirit is touching you. It's not my touch. It's the touch of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He goes to your church, right? Or just you can minister to him, Sister Mary. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Does anybody else need prayer? We need the Lord. All right. Just lift your hands. Christ has given you the authority over Satan. He's the deceiver. And you're going to rebuke him. And he's going to go in Jesus' name. So, so close your eyes and say, Jesus, I'm your child. I'm your daughter. I belong to you. And the battle is not mine. The battle belongs to Jesus. And I want you to say this, Satan... I, that's good. I like that. Satan, I serve notice on you right now in Jesus' name to get your hands off of me right now in Jesus' name. I rebuke you from my life. Go in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Can you shout praise the Lord tonight? Glory to God. Everybody shout glory to God right now. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise God. Who else is praying? We just prayed for her. She can breathe. How to give the Lord a cop off her tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord, brother. Mind. Anxiety. What's that? Okay. What's your name? Jess? Have you asked Jesus to come out of your heart? How long has that been? Did you go to church somewhere? County jail? And then how long have you been coming here? Oh, well, this is your first night here. All right, Jess, would well, Jesus brought you here? Would you like to, first of all, we dedicate your life to Jesus? That'd be good, all right? Lift, lift your hands, Jess. This is Jess's first night. And God's going to set you free, Jess. You ready, son? Just close your eyes. See, Jesus, forgive me of all my sin right now. I dedicate my life, I guess, one more time to you. I give everything to you, Jesus. Wash all my sins away by the blood that you shed right now, Jesus. Lord, dear God. I am wanting to be completely free of all anxiety, of all the devil's devices. And I want to be free tonight. Now get ready, Jesse. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Right now, I take authority over all anxiety. It's hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Let, let him lift his hands, okay? That's it. Let him lift his hands. You lift your hands too with him, though. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Loose him. Loose this man. Loose him right now. Loose him right now. In the name of Jesus, right now. Loose him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we pray for you? Who is that? Vanessa? 
to the chief live in your heart? Do you serve God? Do you go to church anywhere? How long has it been since you've been to church? Okay. Did you go anywhere before here? Where'd you go at? California. Was it a Pentecostal church like this? All right. But you have you received the Holy Ghost before? All right. He's going to refill you right now, young lady. Say, Jesus, I want you to reclaim me. I dedicate myself to you. Right now, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, folks. The Lord is moving. Hallelujah. Shut down. Let that's the death. Let the Holy Ghost do it. He's touching you, sister. He's touching you with the crown of your head, with the sole of your feet. The crown of your head, the sole of Breathe, Holy Ghost. Breathe, Holy Ghost. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe, Holy Ghost, on her life. The, the most touching of others, sister. Hallelujah, Jesus. Showed up in her hand, and that's all gone. Hallelujah! Get a shout, praise the Lord. 
stepped up and said, I want to receive Jesus as my Lord. All I want to say is that I believe he can break a, God can fix a broken spirit, a broken heart, a broken man. He can definitely fix broken bones. And I'm here today as a testimony that God put me here for my brother. And the day my brother was hurt was the day that I just surrendered. Unbeknown to myself that my brother was hurt. And he brought me to him. Mm. We we're in two different places and two different times. But yet we're here right now in this very moment together to be able to show a testimony to show the proof of the real living God. And with that, I can say amen. How does the song I found the better way? Well, let's praise the church for a moment. Praise him right now. They're going to sing another song. Hallelujah. Oh, don't look for me to go where I used to go. Change in me, I found a better way. Well, I may not 